What's up, guys? I just went to the Cigarro show. I mean, just got back. It is like 1 in the morning. Um, I just got back from Austin, or I should say Cedar Park, because that's where the show was at. And I saw Cigarros. Like I've been telling you guys for the last few days, if you don't know who Cigarros is and you haven't listened to their music, listen to it. They are amazing. They're an instrumental band from Iceland, I think. Well, they're not... I don't speak Icelandic or whatever it is. Um... But, uh, whatever language they are, <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm sorry, but they're, I believe they're from Iceland, they're just amazing, beautiful musicians, oh my god, and I honestly, top five show, um, I don't, if I could list off, oh, I don't know, this was a really good show, it's in the top five, I still want to say Skrillex is probably my number one show ever, I just... I had fun. It's for two hours I danced at Skrillex, and it was an amazing show. Um, Thursday's in the top five for sure. Uh, now, Sigaros is really awesome. Uh, Perfect Circle might be in the top five. That was a really great show. I saw them on Halloween. There was costumes, and it was amazing. Perfect Circle was really big at the time. Uh, what, man, top five shows. Uh, who else have I seen? Linkin Park was pretty badass, but I don't think I'm going to put them in the top five. Uh, Thursday might have two slots in the top five. They're amazing. But uh, maybe Explosions in the Sky. Explosions in the Sky is really amazing, too. But, man, I don't know. Sigaros, this... Okay, oh, uh, man. Uh, I wish you guys... If you knew who the music was, you would totally just... You'd get it with everything I'm about to explain. Okay. But when when I go to a show, and it's one of the reasons why I kind of dislike Dead Mouse. No... I mean, I've, I've ranted about not liking Dead Mouse when I saw him in Vegas because I almost got in a fight. That's why I hated it. Um, but when I want to, when I see Dead Mouse, I want to see the cube and I want to see the crazy lights and you know the whole experience. I love an experience, and that's why I kind of pick my shows now. I don't go to all these shows at these small, small venues anymore. Uh, I like a show. I like to be entertained, especially if I'm paying like fifty dollars a ticket. Uh, I want to be entertained. So this one was. Okay, listen to the music, first off. Go listen to the music. Sigaros, they have great albums. They're all good. But just look up, hear a song called NY Battery. It's really great. Um, listen to that song. They, so it's instrumental, and they play. Their stage was amazing. First off, they had these white curtains. Like, they had a white curtain, kind of like this, from the top of the roof to the bottom of the stage. This white curtain. And I was like, all right. And you could see through it. And they started playing... Uh, their first song, they started playing, and I was like, all right, this is this is pretty awesome. And they were projecting stuff onto the curtain. I was like, all right, maybe these guys, you know, they're from a different country. Maybe they like to do something different, and they're going to project something onto this curtain the whole time. And they were projecting, like, these kind of, like, germ-looking kind of things. They are kind of like snowflakes and starbursts, and all this crazy stuff was happening on this white thing, right? And then they played, like, I think one of their biggest songs, NY Battery, the second song, like, their second song was NY Battery, and usually bands close out with their best song, and they, it was their second song, and as soon as the song finished, the things dropped, and I was like, oh, damn, and this big-ass LED screen just went, it just popped up, and it covered, like, half of the, half of the background of the stadium, and they started projecting all these random colors, and you know, people flying in the sky and all this crazy, awesome art that just made the show amazing. And it went with the songs and it just flowed really, really greatly. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I am at a loss for words. But then again, I don't have the best speech in the world. But uh, yeah, so that was awesome. But the stage, okay, there, if you listen to their band, they have trumpets, they have drums, guitars the dude plays the guitar with a violin strings like i mean a violin bow like, I, don't, I know there's a proper word for the bow um but he plays the guitar with a bow it's nuts and then ah oh, that was awesome but the stage is probably the most like breathtaking thing okay it was the regular stage. my arms getting tired i'm sorry the stage was there. There was all these instruments, like I said. They had small pianos, like the grand piano, like, I mean, not grand pianos, but like old wooden pianos, and they had like drum sets with mini cymbals and stuff like that. But the stage had all these random lights. They were, you know, like uh, light bulbs, like old school light bulbs. You know the ones that glowed yellow, not fluorescent? 
they were on these like black um just poles just it was just poles and they were all different sizes you had some that were this tall you had some that were this tall you know all different sizes all throughout the stage and then they had this one song and it's like bing and then it's like a little melody and it's like bing and it's like it's awesome it's this little thing you gotta listen to the song and every time that bing hit the lights will, the lights would flicker and they'd go off and then they'd flicker and they'd go off it was awesome it was just so amazing the songs were great the Every instrument sounded on pitch, like it was perfect. The vocals were amazing. The sound quality in Cedar Park Event Center, I think that's what it's called, awesome. The videos, the lights, uh, it was a show and I loved it. It was amazing. If you get the chance to see Cigaros, well first listen to their music so you can really get into it. Then if you get a chance to see Cigaros, go watch them. They're amazing. Best. Top five shows, seriously. I don't know if it beats out Skrillex for me because that was an amazing experience. Skrillex was an amazing experience. Dancing for two hours, craziness. And his show was awesome too. But Sigados, they're totally two different people. So if somebody gets on here and is like, uh, no, no, there's no way Skrillex is better than Sigados. They're two different genres of music, first off. So, uh, but the putting on a show, amazing, both of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know who I'd pick. Uh, but Skrillex was amazing though. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go, uh, cause I'm gonna get to bed. I gotta shoot a video tomorrow. Um, 100 subscriptions, 101 I think now. Awesome. Uh, I gotta shoot a video tomorrow, and, uh, hopefully I'm gonna wake up early, do all that jazz. I've been t toying with the video game channel stuff, cause I'm trying to get people's mics to record, not just my own. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm still messing with that. I'm gonna go ahead and go. As always, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the Music Money channel, subscribe to Segaros channel, or just go listen to them, because they're amazing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. <laughs>